but now Navarrete is looking to finish this one and it's all over. Well, I believe he's absolutely fantastic and in return did even better and got him got him out of there in, in, in the last round and really beat him up so yeah he's, he's um he jumped from nowhere to become a, a little bit of a mini star first time they fought in that final round Navarrete threw 160 <laughs> punches yes 160 a lord eight man with the famous name starts well with yes. a good left hand and under the body there and come back with a nice little left hook over the top there the lord eight if there is a criticism of Navarrete, I guess it's that he can, his style can be a, a wee bit wild, maybe. Yeah, cool. well, if, if, when he gets you on the ropes and he thinks you're hurt, he, so he literally, you no, know, his head goes down and his backside goes up and he and he swings for the rafters. Lorde making a good start here, being a professional since 2008, but by some distance, this the biggest fight of his career, and he started well, certainly not phased. Navarrete yeah, just pouring him with a the jab there, just seeing what comes back. Not really putting much weight behind it yet to, to let that right hand go. According to the tape measure and the stats were given, Elorde, the taller man, but yeah, looks a bit too much between them, does there? I said Navarrete looks a bit taller to me. He most definitely is. So left uh, uppercut there from Navarrete the Lord has made a made a few quid already out of uh, the boxing world he owns a restaurant businessman owns a laundrette as well he's got a degree in restaurants and hotel management and he's only lost once in 29 fights Was an early one in his career. Four rounder. Again, he commits himself to the shot. So he didn't land with those two left hooks. They, they were blocked there by Navarrete, but he really, you know, when he, once he decides to throw, he puts everything into it. And a sharp, hard shot. Navarrete not really quite establishing himself so far in this opener. I don't think he's starting to find his rhythm a little bit here, though, Navarrete. Big lad. The end of the round. Big lad for a super oh, bantamweight, isn't he? Huge. 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 Got a bit of a peaky blinders haircut. He's <laughs> good there from Lodi. <laughs> this is a really good opening round for the Filipino. <laughs> and Lodi makes a very good first three minutes. David Hay watching with us here at ringside and he's going to be pleased with that very pleased his corner looked very 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 happy now a lot of people were, th were thinking um, Navarrete will, will blast him out pretty conclusively but after looking at that round you know uh, Alorde has come come with a good game plan and he's he, he, you're right he doesn't look taller he looks uh, significantly smaller maybe he was on his tiptoes and they were doing the measuring you know he, uh, <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's definitely a fighter who's got a, got a big heart and he's going to really put the pressure on but he needs to, he needs, he's throwing nice little short punches when he gets inside range and he's getting out of range nice and fast so he's not taking he's not in line to taking those big looping hooks that um, Navarrete likes to throw interesting opening round to say the least Barry and you've got to be giving it to Lorde eh, pretty clearly well I don't think it was I don't think it was clearly I think he won no. the round but I thought I thought in the end there I thought, it, I thought Navarrete was establishing the jab and getting a little bit of room to his work at the end of the round not enough to win it but enough to show that maybe you know they might start you know, bossing things now. The old black and white photograph we saw there between rounds Gabriel Flash and Lorde. He's the grandson of him, is Juan Miguel. Never met him, he was, died before he was born, went on to become a successful, successful promoter after he'd won that world title world super featherweight title champion between 1960 and 1967 and a lot of our uh, older viewers tonight i'm sure will remember the name Getting into this on the back of 19 straight wins at lorde navarrete of course the favorite and huge mexican support
Canelo Alvarez announced this week to be fighting Sergei Kovalev. Kovalev, who managed to succeed in that tremendous fight against Anthony Yard, which we saw on BT recently. And what an occasion that's going to be with the Mexican invasion for that one. Oh, good, oh, good work from Navarrete. He landed the right hand, just a combination just before that as well, just down the finest range of those long shots now, Navarrete. And again with that short left hook. Navarrete, as you say, really does commit to the punch when he goes for it. Short left hand again. Oh, that's a great shot to the body. The second right hand was even better, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the one. And oh. again, a nod of acknowledgement from Elorde. He felt the weight of that. Beautiful shot. Solid left hand. He's really stepping in and trying to punish Elorde here, Navarrete. Back comes Elorde, though, with a good left hook of his own. He's looking at the counter a lot, but he's not blocking any shots, so, and there's so much weight in the punch for him to throw anything back. Added that with the lack of head movement means, you know, now in this round, now he has found the range there, Navarrete, and it, it looked like that just at the end of the first, didn't it, when he was establishing the jab. Looks like it's going to be the hardest much work that we predicted. Yeah, he's found his range unquestionably. Now, Lord has had to give ground. There's a solid Good. left hand there from the Filipino, though. Yeah, it's nice little dip down with the, just dipping that left shoulder down to get the angle for that left hook there. Lordy. Another body shot, just being told to keep the punches up by the referee Russell Mora. But uh, we've got a man with us who could certainly punch a bit in his professional career. David Hay, and uh, you appreciated, I'm sure, a bit of the power there. I love the power there, the single, the heavy handedness. I didn't see any of that in the first round, but um, Navarrete really just sort of calmed down, started looking for the opening, the left uppercut, an absolute peach of a punch, really did. His accuracy seemed like he really cranked up. Maybe in the first round, he was just warmed into, wanted to shake the arms out. You look, no, it really looked like uh, differently. It looked completely different level there. Um, Navarrete to um, Alorde. Otto Valin warming up there. What a penny for his thoughts right now, David. And there's Tyson. I think we know the sort of thoughts he's going to be having. Yeah, he, he's supremely confident. He's been here many, many times before. He's had many much bigger nights than this. Whereas this is what is ma this is his, this is massive fight. This is big opportunity. He's never been in an arena looked like this. He's never had this much press around him. So, you know, if there's going to be unknowns, it's going to be, it's going to be found out tonight. And all part of the path he is hoping, and the boxing world is hoping, towards that big rematch against Deontay Wilder. Here we go into the third round. What a piece now, Barry. Oh, most definitely. Oh, good there from Elordi. Lovely little right hand. <laughs> the makings of a very, very interesting fight indeed, this one. The Lord, the older man by eight years, he's 32. I think that's what's frightening. Maybe that's what uh, Bob Allen was alluding to that The fact that Navarrete is only 24 years of age. He's a baby, really, in boxing terms. And you know, showing the power he has now already. And, he, and the frame that he could maybe go through the weights. In his 30th professional fight he was an early starter like so many mexican professionals and look at it lorde getting stuck in here but that's a great oh, left hand counter from navarrete stopped him in his tracks he, threw, he missed with that right hand for oh, lord he was lucky there navarrete he, he threw it from his ankles that's again that uppercut david was on about in between the rounds there it is again Trying to bully a Lorde back. And you can see what people are, but there's a crudeness to his work, isn't it? It's effective, Navarrete, but it's sometimes really, really crude. There's one of the journos, was journalist that is, was right there, sort of comparing him to Salvador Sanchez. He's a, he's a wilder sort of fighter than that, though, isn't he? I mean, Sanchez was a, a more polished performer, yeah. Oh, great shot! Great left hand 
from Navarrete and Alorde did well to stay up from that he felt that I think I think it went down to his boots and Navarrete knows it still fighting back though and do you know what he did as well clever there Navarrete after he landed that shot he went right straight onto the body with the right hand and his nose is starting to show a bit of damage Alorde Look at the calmness in the, in the, in the expression there of, of Navarrete. He's breathing uncomfortably. I wonder if the nose is broken by that tremendous left hand. Oh, good shot again. Powerful body shot from Navarrete. What he's showing Navarrete that I didn't realise he had in the, in the dog bait fight is really good reflexes. Sometimes a lot of the throws are slightly blocks and counters really quickly. Well, I'll tell you what, this round looking like another round clearly for the oh. Mexican. Great shot! He almost goes! Is he gonna he's being given us he's being given a count by referee Russell Mora. He almost went down. It's the closing seconds of the round, and he looks as though he's about to go. Is the referee going to let him carry on? He is, and thank goodness from his point of view, the bell came. Navarrete really has got, got, got the juices flowing now. His timing's impeccable. He's picking his punches. He's looking down. He's throwing up. He, when he gets his man hurt, he's looking for the opening. I'd heard so much about it. I've never seen him live. This, this, this young man has got everything's required. Absolutely beautiful. So calm under pressure. So when he's under pressure, he's so relaxed. He just really just, he's, he's absolutely loving it in there. He's calm with his work, David, but he commits to every shot, doesn't he? He really does, and, and, and I understand why, because he's so heavy-handed with it. You know, can you imagine giving this guy another two years, what he's going to be like? I'd be surprised if the referee um, of his corner let him get, come out here. Well, he's the referee is having go, a very close look. Gonna and go is the fight going to be all over, I wonder? There's no need, this, this young man going out there. They're pleading with the referee uh, to allow him to come out. This is gonna well, be there is only one thing going to happen here, yes. and I fear for what might happen, because he was just about spent at the end of the third, and the corners allowed Juan Miguel Alorde out for the fourth, and this, you would think, oh, great right hand, though. Great right hand, but is it the last throw of the dice? He's bravely fighting on his gum shield, trying to fire back. But now, Navarrete is looking to finish this one, and it's all over. He stopped it. The referee stopped it. He said enough is enough. And that is one very, very exciting fighter indeed. I'd heard plenty about him, but not seen him live before in the flesh. But he is somebody who really sets the pulse racing. That is a bit of a machine. You haven't seen him live before, you will see him live again. 100%. This guy is going to... Sometimes you see a fighter and you, he's got that something special that one in every hundred champions have. He's got, he's got it. Whatever it is, I don't know what it is. He's the same way I used to see Canelo Alvarez when he was younger. I had the same feeling with him, and I've and I got exactly the same feeling. There, there's, a, there's a beautiful rawness about it. That he, you know, he looks so crude at times, but also there's great patience in his work. He disguises his ability with that crudeness. He actually picks his punches quite well, doesn't he? He really does, and when he has a man hurt, he didn't rush. He was looking for the right shots and countering it, and, and actually looking at doubling the impact. It was, it was, be it was beautiful stuff. You remember the big punching South American Valero? Venezuelan who, Edwin, yep. Edwin Valero. I mean, he, he was ragged, wasn't he? But he, he could bang. He's, and he, this guy's a little bit like that. He's not as big a puncher as Valero, I don't think. But I, it, certainly the, the rawness in his work is tremendous. And I think it's a, an absolutely fantastic stoppage. And I know the corner shouldn't have took him out, but it's his full title shot. I think you take him out with the towel in your hand, ready. Yeah, but, he, he gave him every benefit of the doubt well, there. He I, can't complain. And I said, you know, should he have been taken out? And maybe he should have been taken out, but as he went back in, and he went out there and landed a huge right hand to Lorde. But, but let's get let's get this straight. No matter what a Lorde would have landed, it would, it, it would have bounced off. Never, he, he, did, he didn't have the firepower. He didn't, he, you know, he, he had a go. He gave, it was a spirited effort. But, you know, the, the, the right man, the, the referee did. It was, a, it was a compassionate act by the referee. But all that was going to happen was... Or Lorde would have ended up unconscious on the canvas. And, we, and that's all that was going to happen.
Well, Navarrete showed in the, in the when he won the title and then obviously defended against Dogby you know, in, the, in the return, was he takes a good shot as well. So you've got a guy here who's big at the weight, picks his punches well, puts everything in every shot, can punch and can take a punch. That, 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 that ticks most boxes you need to, be, to become a great fighter, I think. It really does. You know, every, as you said, everything you'd want to see in a young fighter coming up, uh, a young world champion, a young man who's, who's looking to do big things. He, sh he shows, he, he ticks every box. And like you said, in young David, 24, no, 24 years there's old. loads of room for improvement. That, that type he of hasn't got calmness. any bad strength. Yeah, that type Here's of Here's Jimmy Lennon. Ladies calmness. and gentlemen, we have the time of 26 seconds of round number four. A referee in charge stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and still the WBO Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, Emmanuel Evaquero. If you've not heard the name before, Emmanuel Navarrete, if you've not seen the face before, remember it, he's still the champion, and as you can see, he is a Mexican superstar.